church say amen. Amen. Let the church say amen again. Amen. And one more time for the Holy Ghost. Amen. amen. God is good. And he's not good some of the time, but God is good all the time. Yes, he is. In fact, what a mighty God we serve. Yes. The angels bowed before him. Yes. Heaven and the court, the heaven and the earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. Amen. Let us stand for our call to worship. Okay. If you'd like to stand, you don't have to, but if you'd like to, it's your custom to stand. We ask you to stand at this time. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Amen. A call worship. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Yes. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all people through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. Yes. That was the true light, which lighteth every person that cometh into the world. Praise God. Praise God. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, Lord, we're grateful because once again you have allowed us to come into your sanctuary to give you glory, honor, and praise. We magnify your holy name because, God, you deserve it. All of our hallelujahs belong to you. So we come seeking your face in this sanctuary. We come asking and we come knocking. Because we believe your word where you said if we ask we shall receive. If we knock the door will be open. And if we seek that we should find. Thank you. Speak to us Jesus through this worship experience. This is your name, Jesus. We pray, we believe, Jesus, that you are the true God, Christ, Messiah, the soon coming King. And we all want to say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and, and amen. Amen. We want to join in our congregational hymn. We'll call on Chairman to take over for me. Uh, congregational hymn is found in the insert of uh, your bulletin. Leaning on the everlasting arms found in the new national hymn book, M211. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arms. What a
Matthew 5, verses 1 through 12, the Beatitudes. Matthew 5, verses 1 through 12. When y'all get there, can I get an amen, please? Amen. Amen. I will read the light print. Your congregation, y'all will respond with the dark print. The Beatitudes, and it reads, And seeing the multitudes, he went up into the, a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples come unto him, came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they, they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for the day shall attain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall reveal, revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so worship you they and prophets which are before you. Amen. 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 The beatitude, y'all. As we keep it moving in God's presence, uh, we want to have a song of praise from our beautiful duet today. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Come on, ladies. Bless up some of my music ministry, please. Amen. Amen. Jesus on the
thank y'all for that. Amen. Amen. Uh, as we keep it moving in the presence of the Lord, we're going to have our recognition of the visitors and announcements uh, by our own sister deaconess, Debbie Burst. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Deacon Harris. Amen. Uh, good morning, uh, Reverend Stevenson. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Saints. Good morning. At this time, I would like to welcome our visitors. If you are in the congregation and would like to stand, we would like to welcome you. Amen. Union Town, PA. 
one five four zero one. Uh, Reverend Crawford James is the host pastor. Hotel accommodations uh, is also on this flyer, and all of this will be on the back table. Thank you. Thank you, Deaconess. Thank you. Uh, Pastor, do you have any concerns? Marks <coughs> want to make to the congregation, sir? Um, no, I'm good. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. It's time for tabs and offerings. Amen. 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 The Lord loves a cheerful giver. You know, so if we give, he's always going to get us. So we should might as well do our part, giving that 10%. Amen. 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 We are climbing
it's time for our altar call prayer, which is led by me. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, who are we praying for this morning? Uh, Deacon Harris, I'd like prayer for myself, my granddaughter Giselle, her mother Asha, my son, um, our church family, and the missing body of the church, uh, Reverend Payne, and Sister Farrah, who I understand not too long ago got out of the hospital, and uh, her daughter Jamarla, and her granddaughter. Just everyone that you know that needs prayer. Uh, and, and also, Deacon Harris, if you can remember, sir, let's, let's pray for that family, the Nicholas family, who the police officer oh, brutally killed that 29-year-old. Terror. Just, uh, yeah, prayer for the Nicholas family. Thank you. Anybody else? I want to pray uh, for my family, my church family, my friends and my neighbors. Um, prayer for all the people in Ukraine. And just imagine to be just uplifted and just running with only what you can, can grab. Mm -hmm. and, and they have little children. You know, it's just it's just so sad. And I, I pray more for them than I do myself. Amen. Mm -hmm. Any other requests? Pray for, for my eyes. Yes, ma'am. Pray for my husband. And pray for um, the, the violence and everything that's going on in this world today. You just pray for peace. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh. All right. I got one more thing to say. Most of you know, we um, have walked through with my family about my granddaughter and her husband, and she's been running and running away. She had moved to Louisiana, and uh, me and my daughter, which is her mother, we all had a conference call. And so it's time to break down and make friends with your child's father, because he that's his child, too. And um, she moved from Louisiana, and she's in Maryland now. And uh, the father has, he's bringing her back home today. He had her for a weekend, so that's a blessing. They broke down the barriers and they got to make peace to raise this baby. Amen. 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 Any more requests? Amen. Let's bow our heads. God, we come to you together once again, Lord, just for the blessings that you give all of us. I pray that you uplift the desperate family. Watch over them, Asha, Sam, the babies. Watch over them, Father, protect them. <clears throat> Father God, I also pray for domestic violence. Yeah, I pray that you touch people and not help them have evil in their heart. Yeah. Thank you for everything you do for us. I also want to pray for families. Keep them strong in you, Father. Let them know your ways and your love. Amen. I also want to pray just for all your people. Just protect them. Sense of protection around them. Let them know you, the ones that don't know. Father, I also pray just for you to heal the people with violent spirits in their hearts. All the yeah, 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 yeah. All the nonsense that's going on. Lord, you said you would smoke us before you start healing. Yeah. That's what we're going through now. Yeah, we're ready for him. I pray that everybody can come to you and see the love, the goodness, and the mercy that you give to us. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord, Thank for everything you. you've done for me. I pray that you bless the missing members of the congregations. Yeah, yeah. Please guide them back to the church. Yeah. Any, any bones or, or 
limbs or muscles that hurt and heal, Father, bring them back in the fold. Yeah, I pray for our dear Reverend, Reverend Pam. Go ahead, have mercy. If, he, if he's not going to church, I pray that you bring him back to the fold. Yeah, and give him the strength to do what you ordained him to do. To preach your word. Yeah, the people are here yeah. to understand and know the goodness of you. Thank you, Father, for all your blessings. Yeah, thank you for your love. Yeah, thank you for your mercy. Thank you. Without you, we're not. If there's anything that I forgot, you know it all, Father. Do what you do. Please do our business and bless him. Please do Thank you. And we love you. Thank you for your son, Jesus. You have a name we pray. Amen. Amen. This is my story. This is my song. Praise my Savior all the day long. This is a short Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Air of salvation, purchase of God.
I will bless the Lord at all times. Yeah. His praise shall continually be in my yeah. mouth. Yeah. My soul makes the boast in the Lord, and the humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. Amen. Give an honor to God. Give an honor to the Reverend Dr. William Zachary Jr. Yes, yeah, right. pastor here at Tabernacle, Compton, Pompano Baptist <laughs> Church. Amen. 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 That is a mouth word. <laughs> and to Deacon Harris, Amen. and to you, my friends, uh, and friends, and I'll say family. Yeah. May Amen. God continue to be with you. Amen. Um, I will say this in short, and then we'll get to the word. It is an honor and a privilege to be here to serve in this capacity. Amen. Um, I don't take a lightning door for granted the opportunity to come here and yes, preach sir. the word. Right. Yes. So yes. I thank you, my friend, my brother, for the invitation as always. So I've been here a few times and I've always talked about Zach as growing up, right? Mm -hmm. um, and it's funny because the first time, whenever we greet each other, we always ask each other about our parents, right? Um, so I'll say this, um, Zach is a fine young man. His parents are stables in the community. Amen. 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 Just like he is a stable in the community. Yeah. Yeah, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Mm -hmm. um, so it is a pleasure um, to grow up with him. It's a pleasure now to be able to serve him. Yes. Yeah, I am older, but he is the big brother. <laughs> 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 See, I give you that one, right? Today, I'll, I'll admit I am older. And if you know how old he is, I'm not telling you how old I am. Oh, you know, I'm a little older, um, but he is the big brother um, in that. So then my wife came, right? She Amen. came in an introduction. I thank her and I do love her. And accompanying with her is uh, two of the four, right? So that's the young two that's here today. Um, MJ, who's actually a senior. We just celebrated this All senior right. day um, on the basketball court. Amen. 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 So MJ. And then next to MJ is the boss. Right? <laughs> and then Trinity runs it all. Um, we just got done spending all day playing volleyball, right, Trent? Yeah, yeah. All, all day playing volleyball. But I am happy, proud, and elated of, of my family, and I Amen. love them dearly, right? I, I, I do. Um, so, with that being said, um, we need to start, right? So, if you have your Bible, um, if you can, you can turn to Luke, the third chapter. We'll be reading verses 3 through 6. Um, again, yeah, so that's Luke. It's in the New Testament. Um, the, first, the third chapter, uh, verses 3 through 6. When you have it, say amen. When you don't say, I need a minute. I need a minute. All right. All right. So Luke, the third chapter, verses 3 through 6. We'll be we'll, we'll use more time together. Um, does everyone have it? Amen. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. So, okay. So got third chapter. Yeah, third chapter, <coughs> verses three through six. Okay. All, all right. So we have it. Yeah. All right. So I'll be reading from the NIV version uh, for right. here. All right. So it reads like this. He went into the country around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And it is written in the book, the words of Isaiah the prophet, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The crooked roads shall become straight, and the rough way smooth, and all the people will see God's Salvation. Amen to the reading and hearing of the words and being seated in the pleasure in the presence of the Lord. Amen. For a time together, I'll just put a tag to this. It is called Are You Ready for Some Good News? All right. Yeah. All right. Are you ready for some good news? Please right. pray with me and please pray for me. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Fathers, once more and again we come saying thank you. Thank you for the opportunity yeah. to stand before your people to preach the unadulterated word. Yeah. We ask yeah. that you have behind the cross, Father God, we ask you to remove anything 
of me that died is you. Father God, we ask that you preach through me and preach to me. Lord, we ask that we may be able to preach that burdens may be lightened, pathways may be lightened, and souls may be saved. And we will give you all the honor and all the credit. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, are you ready? For some good news. Yeah. 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 Has anyone ever prepared you for a shocking or surprising announcement? Oh, what I'm trying to say is, you know, there's some phrases we use when we tend to indicate that we're about to learn something that may be a little unsettling, shocking, or even unexpected. Oh, you know how we do. We have our Famous phrases. Oh, girl, I got something to tell you. Are you here? Are you sitting down for this one? Or oh, man, you won't believe what I just heard. Oh, or, or, or we sometimes we hear, I'm sure you're not ready for this one. Right? So we use all of those phrases when we want to convey something that is strong, that's going to knock the wind out of you, knock you down, or even information that is staggering. Oh, it's good to have an advance notice because sometimes it softens the impact or the shock of the surprising news. Even if the news is good, but especially when it's bad. Oh, it seems like all we hear today is bad news. Oh, we hear shocking stories of death, violence, crimes, layoff, people losing their homes, and even war. As this world turns. The world hears a voice of hope crying in the wilderness. Hold up and hold on. Brace yourself. There's some good news on the way. See, the day the Lord is approaching and help is on its way. See, we as Christians need to proclaim to the world that there's a reason of hope despite the difficulties of times and situations. When others have given up, dropped their heads in dismay, we stand and proclaim with great faith that even in the wilderness of our times, in the wilderness of our lives, the Lord will make a way and get us through. Yeah, yeah just hold on. I'm, I'm going somewhere. Are, are you ready for some good news? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. See, the text that we look at, it focuses on John the Baptist as he advanced the herald of Jesus Christ. See, a little interesting about John the Baptist and Jesus were relatively the same age, just about six months separated. Also, they were cousins. But John describes himself as the forerunner, not the light, but the one who bears witness to the light. Yes, see, 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 John preached in the wilderness of Judea and raise the consciousness of the people that the righteousness, not the duty and ceremony and tradition, is what is expected from God. Yeah. Uh, see, he challenged them to raise, he challenged them that to raise above the appearance of mortality while harboring sinful spirits. See, as a sign of their renewed mortality, John then baptized those who heeded his call in the Jordan River. Yeah, in the Jordan yeah, River. Yeah. Thus becoming known as John the Baptist. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, it's interesting about John is that his ministry was predicted. Yeah. Yeah, so we have to go all the way back to Isaiah 43 and 5. See, hundreds of years before, Isaiah pointed out that the promised deliverer would be announced by a voice of him crying out in the wilderness. See, Isaiah's words come at a time when Israel had endured a terrible captivity. Its moral fiber, its moral fiber and national spirit have been broken. Yeah. Oh, is there anyone broken here today? See, it stays at best. It could only be described as bare, unprotective, and dry. Yeah. Oh, see, it was a wilderness. Some of their problems have been caused by their own sins. Oh, sometimes our problems in our life are caused by us. Oh, maybe not you 
but me. Sometimes rich can't get out of rich's own way, which causes some issues and some sin. Yes. Oh, but here's what the Bible says about us causing some of our own problems. And it goes like this. Oh, if my people, which were called by my name, yeah, shall yeah. humble themselves and oh, pray yeah. and see my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive them of their sins and he will heal our land. Yeah. All I'm saying is some of the issues is because the people of God are doing what we're supposed to be doing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Other sins and other problems was caused by their enemies. Yeah. Uh -huh. But at any rate, their wilderness conditions represented was a full punishment of God for their transgressions, which came at the double, which came double at God's hands. Not only were there physical iniquities, yeah. people also faced a spiritual void. Yeah. See, when Isaiah raised hope that the people will return from captivity and this context announced that they will be revived by the Spirit and renewed as well. Yeah. This coming, this renewal, will be introduced by one who will come forth out of the wilderness, challenging people to prepare the way for the coming Lord. Yeah. All I said was trying to get people to understand there's someone coming and the times are bad to let you know good news is on its way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, John the Baptist was the almost armor bearer. I'm going to come out and get you ready for the good news. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, John the Baptist was the one saying, get ready, hold on, girl, I got something to tell you. Good news is coming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, see, John announced to the world that the Lord had arrived. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He prepared the world for the great news. See, John the Baptist let him know, you got to get your house in order because good news is on its way. Oh, John the Baptist yeah. let him know, yeah. there's some things you're going to have to leave because good news is coming. Oh, yeah. John the Baptist let him know, you don't need to cry anymore. I got some good news coming. Oh, it was John the Baptist that let him know, just hold on. Began to doubt 
and began to search for what has been missing an element or a higher or different power. Some have resorted to some boil oils, some special water, some catchphrases, as they look for a sign of wonder to confirm they're on the right path. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm just letting you know, it's a wilderness. Yeah, yeah. But yet in the wilderness, uh -huh. there's a voice well, that brings renewed hope. Uh -huh. Yeah, in the wilderness, what that we call this life experience, there's a voice of the living God that still rings out. Yeah. Uh, it speaks to our fears, it speaks to our frustrations, uh -huh. uh, it speaks to our waning faith. Yeah. Uh, I just want to know, are you ready for some good news? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah yes, you see, just as John preached in the wilderness of Judea, saying prepare the way, we as the body of Christ must do the same today. Yeah, uh, yeah. We need to declare to the world that they that are living in a wilderness prepare the way. Yeah. I get times are difficult, but prepare the way. Our yeah. trouble is all around us, but prepare the way. Oh, I can hear John the Baptist declare now, prepare the way. Yeah. But the question is, John, where are we preparing the way for? We're living in a wilderness and there is nothing to prepare for. Oh, I can hear people asking, John, why should we prepare? We are getting lost in the deep valleys of our burdens and our frustrations are heavy. Yeah. We are sunk into the valley of depression. Every time we try to climb out, we seem to fall back down. In the midst of time, there is a voice from heaven saying, are you prepared for the good news is on its way? Yeah. Let's understand every valley shall be exalted. Yeah. Oh, I can hear you asking, why am I going to prepare for some good news, John, when we are surrounded by high mountains? Yeah. Every time we try to proceed and move forward and conquer a mountain, another mountain comes in the way. Yeah. Oh, this makes our lives difficult. We're just struggling just to climb and to make it day to day. Yeah. But do you hear the voice from heaven saying, are you prepared for the good news is on the way? Yeah. Yeah. The good news is every mountain shall be made low. Oh, I can hear some other people saying, John, what are we prepared for? We are consumed by corruption and crookedness. Someone is always trying to cheat us, deceive us, and take advantage of us. Oh, we can never get a fair shot in our just due. We don't know who to trust, but can you hear the voice from heaven saying, Are you prepared? All oh, this good news is coming around the corner. Because the crooked shall be made straight. Oh, I still see some doubters here today. They're asking, John, why should we prepare? Times are hard, conditions are rough. It's hard to make a living these days. The cost of eggs is out, going crazy. I don't make enough money. I don't know if I'm going to have a job the next day. They lay it off at the factory. They lay it off at this job. My money is starting to act funny. There's very loose opportunities going on. But can you hear a voice from heaven saying, are you prepared for the good news is on its way? The good news is rough places shall be made plain. All I stop at here to say today is that it is a wilderness in these times. But the voice from heaven is saying, are you prepared for help is on the way? But here's something I want to share with you a long time ago. God considered the wilderness state of the world. He was sitting there saying, I know it's a wilderness and some help is needed. He looked to the right and Jesus said, just send me. I will work in the wilderness. And can you hear God saying, if you will go, I will prepare three things for you. The first thing I shall prepare is a body for you. See, Jesus stepped down 40 and two generations. Yeah, he yeah. took off divinity and put on humanity. Yeah. He was born in the manger yeah. in the town of Bethlehem. Yeah. Oh, he grew up a son of a carpenter. He yeah. burst on the scene about the age of 13. Yeah. He was teaching in the synagogue. And then he went dark for a while. It was about then he came out and announced his ministry. See, I'm talking about the Jesus that fed the 5,000. I'm yeah. talking about the Jesus. 
about the Jesus that saved souls. Oh, I'm talking about the Jesus that gave the blind man see. Oh, I'm talking about the Jesus that let the deaf man hear. Oh, I'm talking about the Jesus that made the crippled man walk. Oh, I'm talking about the Jesus that forgave us for our sins. Oh, I'm talking about the Jesus that gathered the twelve and made them fisher of men. Oh, I'm talking about the Jesus that continued his ministry of saving and preaching.
God prays for the work that Deacon Harris did this morning. We pray to God for Chairman. Listen, listen, keep praying for Chairman. Amen. amen. He's growing leaps and bounds. Amen. And, um, we pray to God for Himself. Uh, we're uh, uh, we'll call on uh, Minister Stevenson to give us his uh, final remarks and the benediction. Good news. Good news. 